All right, we're on week nine in our study of biology, um, which is the study of living organisms and their vital processes, um, or the study of living things. So um, welcome back. This week and next week, we're doing some fun observations of um, some animals and animal parts. Um, we will be observing and naming, um, storytelling even, about um, these animals. And so the first one today in week nine, we are observing, not necessarily dissecting, but naming parts of a crawfish or crayfish or crawdad. They all are the same animal, so you can call it whichever one you're used to. Um, I grew up calling them crawfish, so that's what you'll hear me say. Um, so first of all, again, the purpose of this science time is to create wonder and awe in the kids and in ourselves. Uh, we want to remind them that all God's creation reflects his glory. We see that in Romans 1.20. Um, we can see his power. We can see his creativity, his infinite love through his creation. So in Genesis 1, we know that God created all animals. And so he didn't just create um, the fuzzy, cute ones that we love. Um, he also created creepy crawlies like snakes and spiders and crawdads. So there's a purpose for them. They're not just there by accident. They didn't just happen. God created crawdads um, like every other living thing um, for a purpose. And so the first about 10 minutes of time, I want you just to name some of the facts. I'm gonna tell you about crawdads, gather some background information from the kids. They may know a ton about it more than I do. Um, and so ask them if they've ever tasted a crawdad. Some people love them. Surely somebody has in our community. Um, and so talk to, about crawdads a little bit. Um, do some review. So let's talk about our classifications. You know, so what kingdom do you think crawdads fall under? Um, yep, they're animalia. Um, are they vertebrates or invertebrates? They're actually invertebrates. They have an exoskeleton which protects their insides. Um, so they're in the phylum of arthropods. What class are they in? Well, they're in a crustacean class um, with similar things like them. They're related to like lobsters um, and other animals, other crustaceans like that. So do some review there um, and then name a couple cool things about crawdads, and if your kids haven't already told you everything about them. Um, some things that I found that were cool about crawdads, um, they are nocturnal, means they're mostly active at night. Um, they eat lots of variety of things. They eat plants and animals. So ask your kids, what does that make them? They're omnivores. And so they will also eat dead things, so decomposing plants and animals. So that's super helpful in an ecosystem. Um, part of the things they'll eat, they'll eat snails, worms, tadpoles, they eat larvae um, that are floating or present in the um, freshwater environment. Um, they again will eat plants alive and dead in their ecosystem. So they eat a variety of things. Um, you know, looking at this picture, how do you think a crawdad moves? Well, it, you know, is it standing upright? No, it's on its belly going all around, um, and I'll tell you in a minute some cool facts about that. So um, it has the different parts to it, and God created it to move like that for a purpose. So it's nocturnal. It itself is an invertebrate. It eats lots of invertebrates, some other vertebrates, um, plants and animals. It's an omnivore. It lays eggs, you know, so how did we say animals reproduce? One of the ways is from eggs and crawdads, um, mommy crawdads can produce up to 200 eggs. Um, and it, this egg sac kind of sits on the back of their tail um, in protection until they hatch and are hungry little baby crawdads. Um, so it lays eggs. It also has appendages on its abdomen, which helps circulate the water um, the freshwater crawdads, it circulates the water to help with their respiration. They get the um, nutrients they need um, from their abdomen um, and from being able to filter out that water, which is pretty cool. Um, okay, so those are some neat things about crawdads. Um, some other things that you say, well, what is the purpose? Why did God create them? Um, 
well, a couple awesome things about crawdads. Who knew? I didn't. Um, in some things I read, they're actually considered a keystone species, meaning they are a dominant force in their ecosystem of the flow of energy and the diversity of an ecosystem. Um, these creepy crawly little things actually have a big role to play in their ecosystem. One of the ways is from all that they eat. So they help, even, again, those decomposing things as well as keeping um, the population down of certain um, other, of all the other living things that they eat. They also are food for bigger fish. And so, and just in the feeding cycle, um, they play an important role. They also are considered ecosystem engineers. And so they, because God created them to be on their bellies and to scurry around like they do, they create little burrows and pathways everywhere they go. So in the water, they have these little pathways through debris, through the water, through the sand, and those little pathways allow other animals to hide and to, um, to swim or be in, to live in. Um, it also helps keep debris from settling down. Um, it keeps debris pathways movement, like um, dead leaves and all of that gathering. Um, crawdads help keep all of that um, organized a little more and just moving. So it helps with, um, if you think of engineers creating, building roadways, building their environment, um, that's what crawdads do. There's also a thing called land crawdads, which burrow inland. Um, they're in prairies and in sandy areas. And the tunnels that they burrow actually create a little tunnel for water and gases to flow in a very dry land. And so they help with the plant diversity and growth through the tunnels they make. Um, who knew? I didn't. So, um, so they help. These crawdads are land and freshwater are important in the diversity of their ecosystem. They have a purpose that only they are fulfilling. Um, and so God made them for a purpose, uh, which is pretty cool. So talk about those things, and then each class is gonna come down. We're gonna have an outside area set up because of the um, smelliness of the crawdads in formaldehyde or type um, substance. And they'll be on paper plates and there'll be laminated identifiers beside them. Thank you again, Nicole Liam on CC Connected um, for making these beautiful things. And so, um, so these will be laminated beside each crawdad. Um, tutors, parents will all help. Um, you wanna identify the parts. You wanna read through what the purpose of each of those parts are. Um, and then the bigger kids especially will do that, you know, within five minutes. And then you might, you know, quiz them. Okay, we're gonna have a speed round. Um, who can show me the swimmerettes? Who can show me the eyes? Who can show me the walking legs? Um, so to help identify and reinforce that information a little bit more. Um, when, if you still have time, when you go back, we'll have these available to the older kids, especially to draw. And there's some listings on the side of the parts and see if they can draw what they, um, what they saw. Uh, we might also, tutors, if you want these, you can let me know and we could have them even outside that they could draw while they're there. Um, just again, to reinforce learning the parts and learning that all the different parts have purposes and that all of those purposes were created by God, for God, um, as their role in the world. Okay, it's gonna be fun, thanks.